Hello everyone, it's Nick and today we are going to talk about icons. Icons are tiny pentagrams that you can find in almost any app. It's nearly impossible to name a single app that doesn't have icons. Why icons are so popular? Well, there are a few reasons for that. First, icons save screen space and they can replace long descriptive groups of words. Second, icons are visually pleasing. They can enhance the aesthetic appeal of the design. Last but not least, most apps use icons. It's a design pattern that is familiar to users. But despite these potential advantages, icons might be easily cause usability problems when they are poorly designed. Today we will discuss 8 rules to remember when designing icons. Rule number 1. Icons should communicate meaning. The most important property of the imagery is its ability to convey a specific message. What makes an icon great is its meaning can be understood without reading a label. Designers sometimes hide functionality behind icons that are pretty hard to recognize. Most of us are familiar with unreadable washing icons that are nearly impossible to decode. An icon is a visual representation of an object or action. When this representation isn't clear to users, the icon immediately loses its practical value and becomes a decorative rather than functional object. It should be easier for users to understand the meaning of an icon. Ideally, the user should be able to tell what the icon does just by looking at it. But when it comes to visual design, that's easier said than done because there is a limited number of icons that everyone understands. The list of icons with universal meaning includes an icon of a house that represents the homepage, a magnifying glass that represents church and a paper envelope that represents mail. Apart from those, other icons might be unclear to the mass audience. And it's a common mistake to assume that your users will learn the meaning of abstract pentagram. Most of the time when users see an unfamiliar icon without a label, they will simply skip it. Thus, the feature hidden behind this icon remains undiscoverable. How to ensure users understand the meaning of your icon? You can use a 5 second test to ensure that. If it takes more than 5 seconds to think of a proper icon for an object, action or event, it's unlikely that you will be able to find a relevant visual representation for it. If you want to use an icon and ensure if it's clear, you can always add a text label next to it. By doing that, you will keep the visual advantages of our icons. First time users will read the label and understand the meaning, while regular users will rely on the icon. Apple App Store follows this approach. If you remove labels, you will notice that the icons here are totally unclear. You should never redefine the meaning of universal icons. Users who see a familiar icon have certain expectation about what will happen if they click it. If the system reacts differently, users will be confused. For a long time, Google Docs used an icon that looks almost like a hamburger. Most user interfaces use a similar icon to represent the main navigation menu. But Google redefined the meaning of this icon and used it as a back button. When users clicked on this button, they were directed to the Google Docs homepage. This behavior was really frustrating. Icon labels should be visible all the time without any interaction from the user. Sometimes designers tend to rely on the hover effect. The label appears when the user hover over the mouse. This approach isn't good because it requires extra action from the users and falls to translate well on the touchscreen devices. Rule number two. Icons that represent the same thing should not be used together in one UI. For example, heart and a star icons can both mean add to favorite. When you introduce both icons in your UI, you create confusion. 
Imagine you see the following icons without the text labels in your in the same app. You will likely wonder what will happen if I tap on one of them. Rule number three: keep icons simple and schematic. It might be tempting to create icons with many visual details to make visualization more realistic. However, this decision can negatively impact the product design process and product usability. The more visual details you add, the more tedious the design process becomes. We often design a set of icons, not just a single icon, so that the icon design can become really time-consuming. It also will be harder to optimize icons for different screen sizes and resolutions. Sticking to the simple rule of using simple icons will give you one significant advantage. Icons will look great on any screen. Simple icons are fast to recognize at a glance even because they are clear, clear even at small size. You might wonder how to find the right balance between too much and too few details. Well, the answer is simple. Always focus on essential characteristics of the object. Get rid of any unnecessary detail that doesn't help communicate the meaning. Rule number four, ensure icons scale well. If you use schematic icons, it doesn't guarantee that you will, icons will scale well. You need to test the icon set to ensure that your icons can be recognized at the small sizes. Scale your icons to 16 by 16 pixels and see if they still can be easily distinguished. Rule number five. Choose the right size for your icons. The size of your icons matter. When you make your icons too small, users will have problems distinguishing them and possibly interacting with them on the touch screens. But when you make icons too big, they will demand too much attention from your users. The size of your icons should be selected according to the medium you design for, in proportion to other UI elements. There are no universal rules that will work in all contexts, but if you want something to start with, you can go for 32 by 32 pixels for large icons, 24 by 24 pixels for regular icons, and 16 by 16 pixels for small icons. And when you design a mobile app, the size of your icons should be selected based on the recommended size of the touch targets. Since users interact with the touch screens with their thumbs, you should be make them tongue friendly. Both Apple and Google suggest relatively the same size for touch targets. For example, Google Material Design recommends using a 48 by 48 dp touch target. In absolute values, it should be around 10 millimeters, which is the width of the average adult thumb. Now let's talk about proportions. All visual elements in UI should be sized proportionally to each other. When it comes to icons, the size of icons should be selected in proportion to the container they are placed in. For example, if you want to design a button with an icon, you need to consider the width and height of the button container and the label's font size and choose the size of the icons so they can fit naturally in the container. The icon shouldn't be too small or too large. It should look just right to look nice. Rule number six, strive for visual consistency. Consistency is an integral property of good UI design because it helps improve comprehension of the user interface. When visual design elements are used consistently in your product, users learn how to use it faster because they can transfer their knowledge from one part of the product to another. Like any other parts of your user interface, icons should be used consistently in your design. The icons should have the same style. Style attributes such as the shape, stroke thickness, and perspective should remain consistent for the entire set of icons. You probably noticed that the scissors 
here have different visual attributes. The second set of icons look more visually consistent. You shouldn't have one style of icons in one part of the app and another style in another. So always conduct visual audit of your design. Rule number seven, consider platform specifics. Different platforms might use different visual representation for icons with the same meaning. For example, share icon in an Android and share icon in an iOS look different. That's why before creating icons for your app, check the platform guidelines and ensure that the icons you want to create align with the guidelines. If you want to migrate your app to another platform, you should swap out platform specific icons with big counterparts. Rule number eight, test early, test often. No matter how much time you spend designing your user interface, there is always a chance that something might not work for your users. That is why you should always conduct usability testing. Usability testing will reveal usability issues and help you understand whether your users can understand the icons you've chosen. When it comes to testing icons, you can rely on three techniques. The first one is recognizability testing. It's a relatively simple technique. You show the icon to the test participant in the context of your app and ask what will happen if I click it. If the most of your test participants can tell what an icon does, your assumption about the icon design was valid. The second one is memorability testing. After users interact with your product, show them icons and ask whether they can remember what each icon does. Icons that are hard to memorize most of the time are highly inefficient. The pleasurability test is the last technique in our list. Icons can make your eye more visually pleasing, so it's also worth testing how users feel about your icons. The aesthetic appeal of your design directly impacts the user experience because users tend to perceive attractive products as more usable. When done right, good icon design can contribute to app personality. Waze, a navigation app, is one of my favorite examples of how to use icons to improve visual appearance. Unlike any other navigation app, Waze is more fun and a large part of these impressions comes down to the icons they choose to use in design. Like every other user interface element, icons should be carefully designed. When designers care about icons, they create a UI that helps users go intuitively through a workflow without relying too much on a copy. If you like this video, please subscribe and click on this tiny bell icon so you will never miss a new video. Thank you.